Welcome to Cast Corner. Today, I'm going to talk to you about Path of Daggers by Robert Jordan. This is the eighth book of Wheel of Time. I am making great time with this series. I am now in the slog. <laughs> so it has been an interesting read. This book is structured much differently than Robert Jordan's other books, which I found a little bit weird. So up until this point here, he has always done a first, like, six chapters of the book is a ramp. Then you get your story, and then the last six chapters of the book is another ramp to kind of ramp up the story. So he builds excitement at the beginning, he gives you a nice fluid story in the middle, and then he builds up that excitement for the end of his books. This whole entire book felt like the middle parts of his book. That's not to say that it's bad. I believe I gave this one three stars. Almost four. Um, it was still written very well. Actually, I would say even better than some of his other books. Um, the excitement just isn't in this one. We get to see a little bit of Rand and him setting up uh, Elaine as uh, the, um, the, uh, the, 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 as the queen. And we also get to see Egwene kind of bring more people to the tower on her side. And we also get to follow Perrin. And of course, the fun that he gets to uh, ensue uh, going forward with also um, his wolf brother, Elias. I have enjoyed what they are doing within this book. I just found that they weren't doing a lot. It seemed like a lot of talk and not a lot of action. And that's all right. I'm okay with that. And I hear that the series has an amazing payoff and I'm here for that. I'm still planning on doing um, probably Winter's Heart maybe by the end of this month, early next month, something like that. I am going to try and finish off the series this year. I have been on a kick to finish series that I've started. And this is one that I've been wanting to put my chips in towards and to just say, you know, I'm going to go and finish Wheel of Time. It's a huge feat. It's 14 books. I am enjoying everything about it so far. I had to take a year off when I finished The Shadow Rising. I thought it was a good book. It just didn't feel like the way I wanted the series to feel. And I was kind of sitting there hoping that my interest would be reinvigorated with it. And then, of course, I have a few friends of mine at work who started digging into the series from the beginning. They were getting excited. The TV show was coming out, and I decided that I was going to, you know, try and finish the series, see if I was going to enjoy it. Because the thing was, I was at book four, and I was like, I got ten more big books to go. Is this something I want to invest my time in? And I hemmed and hawed about it. But then my friends got super excited again, which got me excited. Excitement is contagious. It's great. And then, uh, of course, the TV show came out. I watched the first three episodes, and I decided, yes, I am getting in on this again. I am going to go hard. And I read The Fires of Heaven, Lord of Chaos, Crown of Swords, and Path of Daggers, all within two months. I have been enjoying these four books far more than I did the first four books. And I feel like that's saying something. It shows that Robert Jordan is a fantastic writer and continues to be, even if his stories change their pace. And the pacing was my only issue with this book. It's the only thing that lacked my um, disappointment for it. I always look forward to that ramp up at the beginning and that ramp up at the end because those always bring in such great information 
They give you so much excitement for the story ahead, and they give you so much excitement for the next book. And I just found that this one kind of fell just a little flat on that, because uh, while I am excited for Winter's Heart, um, I just found that the climax was not climatic. I didn't find that the beginning of this was a ramp up. And that was actually something that was happening in Crown of Swords, now that I think about it, is that Crown of Swords didn't have that last ramp up and go. It kind of had that ramp up at the beginning, the middle was the way it felt, and then the end was sort of just kind of like, felt like the middle, and this felt feels like it's continuing. So I'm just wondering if Robert Jordan changed up because the last books that we are going to get is going to be all ramp the entire thing and I hope so because I am super excited to see what we are going to get. I'm excited to see how everyone's uh, world turns topsy-turvy. Now the question I have for you that um, made me think in this book here was do you think that Egwene is Tavaren? It was mentioned in here that someone said are you Tavern? Because you seem to be drawing people to you. And she goes, no, I am the Armon Seat, a Sedai. Now, to me, that says that she, uh, she is a Sedai, and that's the path she is choosing to go down. However, um, the possibility of her being Tavern seems very real to me. I want to know what your guys' thoughts are on that, and, uh, I look forward to talking to you more about Wheel of Time. It's so exciting, and uh, if you are also reading Wheel of Time, my link is down below. You can join me on my Discord and come over there and talk with me about it, because I am always looking for more people to discuss Wheel of Time with. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming to the corner. I hope you're all doing well, and we'll see you next time. Take care of yourselves. Bye.